ไปกดให้ใช่There's going to be lots of white and grays because I felt like that would make it look aesthetic and also I added in some green color because plants green, you know. Over here I'm putting in this little tables underneath this big desk because it made it look like it's drawers and you do unfortunately need advanced placement so throughout this build I'll be using advanced placement just in case you don't have it. It may look a little bit different. Over here I decided to add in some shelves which will be holding some plants because I am in love with these shelves. They look gorgeous and I added in lots of plants. Along with the plants, I decided to add in some candles to change up the look and make it look more varied in the choices of objects. And here is where I'm going to be adding in the bed, which will be a double bed because I felt like if it took up more space, it would actually look pretty good. So yeah. <laughs> It took me a while to decide what colors I would like for the plants and the candles, so I just finalized it with some green color shades at the end because I felt like that looked best. And now I'm going to be adding in some decorations near the desk area.
After putting in some finishing touches with the desk, I decide to color the floor and add in some decoration for the walls of the bedroom for them not to look plain. I added in some picture frames, some fairy lights of course, and I just decorated. <laughs> Over here, I add in lights above the bed top to make it look like it has a railing at the top or an outline of the bed and give it more shape. So I personally liked it. Over here, I'm going to be adding in some clothing because I felt like it would look pretty modern. Over here, I decided to add in a bathroom because it would be kind of weird to just have a bedroom if there wasn't a bathroom. I mean, like, if you just wanted to build this as a house, all you had to do was buy a fridge, and that's pretty much it. So what I did is I made the outline, I put in the bathtub and the cabinets, not cabinets, the counters, and I just colored in the walls first, and then I decorated with some mirrors, lights, and kept going from there. And to finish off the bathroom, I added in some poster decals and also a clock. Don't overthink things, baby. Cause I know that you do. You've been a stranger lately. And I know that's not you. Easy come, easy go. No need to fight about it. Easy come, easy go. Finally, I looked around the bedroom and the bathroom, adding in any final details that I wanted to input before I finished the build. I also added in some lights. Since this was just a simple bedroom and bathroom, I just put in the cheapest roof, which was the flat roof, and we're pretty much done with the build. No 
If you enjoyed this video, click that subscribe button to be part of the Panda Wanda Habitat. Also, click that notification bell to be notified of when I post. Could you be the first to comment? Panda Girl is out. Bye!